Welcome back. And with me is John McAfee, tech pioneer, computer programmer, security expert, founder of McAfee Software, and Ghost Coin. So, John, great to have you and great to talk to you in person. I've been following your career for years and years. Oh, well, thanks for inviting me on, Jane. I'm, I'm glad to be here. So now let's start with this. How are you staying safe in this crazy world? Where are you? How are you dealing with this pandemic? It's I don't think well, I'm, I'm in I'm in Belarus and we never lock down and um, we don't wear masks and everybody goes about their business. So this is how I dealt with it. <laughs> OK, well, that's uh, New York has gotten a little mad and I think the U.S. has gotten a little crazy with the masks and all that. So have you. Found it has indeed. The no lockdown thing, has that worked for Belarus? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, first of all, the masks do nothing. I'm sorry. If, if, if you do some medical research, uh, <laughs> viruses are so tiny, they don't even see. It's like uh, going through a, a, a wide open doorway. Why you're here today, and that is Ghost. Um, so this is a proof of stake privacy coin. Uh, helps you make nothing but a ghost when transacting online. So kind of explain your mission and your vision with Ghost. Well, yeah, I think that privacy is the most important uh, right that we have. And I, I think we've lost mo much of that right, especially in America. Uh, it's an important course. People will say, if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear, have never looked at themselves, nor their relationship to the world. We all have something to hide people. Um, and we, we have a set of privacy filters which are activated hundreds of times per day. Every relationship that we have has a set of privacy filters. Once you tell your wife in confidence, are you going to tell your boss? Are you going to tell a checkout clerk uh, uh, where you buy groceries uh, that you've only seen once? It's not just a privacy coin. We, we have an we have an actual ecosystem of privacy, including a privacy exchange. Uh, we're coming out um, in September with a privacy uh, phone. Our phone system requires no registration. We don't want to ask who you are. We don't want to know who you are. Uh, no one can ever locate you uh, with our phone system. And it's based on eSIMs. Um, if you know what an eSIM is, the, the, the more... Uh, Newer phones like uh, the Samsung S20, the Samsung uh, uh, Fold, the Samsung um, Flip Phone, uh, Google Pixel, the latest iPhone, anything that supports eSIMs, mm -hmm. all you have to do is uh, you download your little eSIM code, you click it, uh, you know, you photo it, and suddenly you're live on our uh, uh, international network. It, we're live and running in 37 countries now, including the U.S., all of Western Europe, uh, except Portugal. Um, not China. We'll unfortunately never be able to do China. We're, we're right. live in Russia. I totally agree with you about privacy. Like, I don't, and maybe it's, you know, I, I'm not a millennial, and, you know, and I'm shocked <laughs> at how, how easily they give up their information. And yes, yes. Um, it's like they don't care. Right. Uh, and, and even if I'm doing like I'm going to a restaurant or whatever, it's like, I don't want everybody to know that. So you've addressed this a little bit. Why the world needs ghosts. I mean, do you think and this is what's so wonderful about blockchain is that it can protect people's data. Um, and is that where you think we're headed next? People are saying well, I think we have to. I mean, if you look at things like Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, the two most popular, uh, if I send you uh, whatever, $3 worth of Bitcoin or you send me $5 worth, forever after I can look in your wallet and see exactly how much money you have, where it came from, where are you sending it to, forever. Mm. And I can also go back in history and see everything you've ever done. And you do the same with me. Oh, that's true. Um, <laughs> it's, getting, it's a little bit scary. Yeah. Uh, we have privacy coins like Monero, which is the most popular. Um, but the problem with the existing privacy coins is that when you go to exchange them for fiat currency, cash, or some other uh, coin, you have to do it on a centralized exchange. And centralized exchanges are all under the thumb of governments who demand know your customer, uh, anti-money laundering, and so on. Um, so Ghost uh, is the first privacy coin that will run on a distributed exchange. Uh, our distributed exchange is ghostx.live. Uh, 
Um, and we ask nothing. You don't have to register. You don't have to send us your name, address, no documentation. Same thing with our phone. We don't need any documentation. We don't care who you are. Here you are. You're now anonymous. No one will ever locate you, et cetera, with the phone. Well, the same thing with the distributed exchange. So the problem with existing uh, good privacy coins, because Monero is excellent, uh, as good as Ghost is, I'll be frank, but you cannot exchange it on a distributed exchange. So as soon as you exchange it, you're now under the thumb of governments, right? Uh, because the government come and say, all right, I've got a subpoena. I want to see whose wallet this was, and, uh, and you're lost. Mm -hmm. um, with Ghost, you cannot do that. So let's say there's somebody watching this interview and they're, they think like us and they're tired of their data being, you know, taken and sold and marketed by Facebook, Google, whatever. Um, what is the first step they can take to get involved with Ghost? And then how can, say they're not in technology, there have been something else. How can they use this product? Well, already we've got people all over the world using it. We, we just signed a deal with a Hong Kong uh, uh, Disneyland, Hong Kong, as a matter of fact, is now using Ghost in all of their uh, cash machines. You can take a Ghost uh, uh, wallet, uh, insert it, and get cash. Um, uh, the, all over the world, people are beginning to use it. But the first thing you should do, please, people, do not just uh, go and buy Ghost coin. Uh, if you know nothing about cryptocurrency, please uh, educate yourself first. This is the main problem. I think people should check it out because I think, you know, we don't even realize how much information these tech companies have on us. And that's why they're, you know, worth $60 yes, billion. Dollars. Absolutely. So, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank anyway, you thank you so much for having me on. Great to meet you in, in Zoom and hope to meet you in person someday. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye-bye.